the Def Leppard song of the day. I cannot tell you. Oh, no. Only at 7.30. Hey, Mike. Yeah, yeah, come on in. 35, will you hear what the song is and the hour in which it'll be played? Okay. But I'll tell you, do you drink coffee? Some people put sweetener in there, though, right? Uh-huh. What's that called? Hey, Josh. Hey, Mike. Sorry about Hey, that. good was, to see you. I was editing that phone call there. Oh, is that what you were doing? Yeah. I got to tell you, things have changed a lot since I was on the radio almost 15 years ago. Right. So tell us a little bit about this. What do you do with that? Well, uh, this is, a, I guess, called a Vox Pro is what they call it. And um, it has a hard drive where you can actually pipe in audio from the board, record the phone call uh, with my audio and then the listener's audio. And you can actually just take them and move them around. Uh, you'll notice there's like a big open gap here where she and I were talking. Right. Uh huh. And what's that called? And I can actually take that. <laughs> sugar. Okay. So I was actually hinting to this lady about a contest that we're doing right now. So, so I'm going to take that space out. And what's that called? <laughs> sugar. Okay. So that's basically how it works. And you can do that with anything. You can take these tracks and separate them. And there's a song. Whereas uh, back in the day with reel to reel, this was pretty much unheard of. Incredible. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Very fun. And that's actually the biggest time saving tool that I have, I think. Things have really changed since the reel to reel days as far as editing, hasn't it? Oh, absolutely, for sure. Absolutely. Now, this is called the board, right? Or that, console. That hasn't changed in when we started 15 years ago, <laughs> has it? <laughs> yeah, no. Actually, yeah, it has, uh, for you and I both, I believe, we started out with a little turn pod. Yes, right? that's right. Um, with a little switch, and you had to start anything individually. Hang on one sec, I gotta push a button. Songs of the 80s and more. Well, uh, these are called slide pots, mm -hmm. which um, each individual element that is on the radio, whether it's a song or commercial or something that you hear between the songs, once those things are fired, you have to actually pot it up and hit the button. Mm -hmm. So if I were to, like right now, I can turn these down and nothing's going to happen. But if I turn this one down, we're not going to have anything on the radio anymore. So basically acting as volume switches, like, uh, for instance, on your stereo at home, right? Very similar, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, this just kind of controls what goes over the air. Um, I'm in the middle of a, a commercial set right now, so I'm going to be firing them off every 60 seconds, unless I'm playing a 30-second commercial, of course. Of course. But, uh, yeah, I'll just be firing these off randomly. Radio is something that I've always wanted to do just because of the fact that you're playing on the radio all day. You play your favorite music. Even if you're not a country fan, when you start working at the country station, all of a sudden every song's your favorite because you start to get to know the music and you really enjoy it. You know, Jeff, when I was first starting out on radio, I was so nervous about talking on the microphone. What I used to do was blow up a balloon and drew a face on there and put it on the microphone. And then I pretended like I was talking to that one person. What did you do? This is my little friend. This is Bubba. And I try to talk to Bubba whenever humanly possible. Um, I've had probably a dozen of these over my eight years in radio. And it seems that you always leave one in the studio and someone decides to play with your little toy until he breaks. But Bub is my recent addition to the mix studio. And uh, he kind of bobs his head with the music and stuff like that. And, you know, you're exactly right. Visualize someone who maybe you like that you're talking to, you know. Like, I always visualize my mom when I'm having kind of a rough day and I come in here before I was married, I'd come in and be like, Oh, well, mom's listening. You know, mom's, you know, mom's here for me or whatnot. Now I see my little girl, Shelby or my wife or, um, a listener that I've run into in the past. And a lot of times I'll get phone calls. Like right now I'm getting five phone calls. Um, people are trying to win tickets still. Hi, mix 107.5. Hey, are you guys giving away Def Leppard tickets? Oh, we are giving away Def Leppard tickets. Didn't you hear me just talk about it? Of course. <laughs> so, do you know the song? The song um, that was just on? No. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's coming up during Stacy's shift. Listen for a Def Leppard song and you'll win. Okay, I'll be listening. All right, thanks for the call. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Tell me about the 107 calls. Do you really get 107 phone calls? We actually do take 107 phone calls when the appropriate time. We didn't play the song of the day, which I had hinted to a few minutes ago, uh, for them to call and win tickets and stuff. But, yeah, we do take 107, and I answer every single one of them, and I try to be very polite and not just say, you're caller 15, you're caller 16, you're caller 17. 
I know I've gotten that when I've called a radio station mm -hmm. trying to win stuff when I was a kid. So Jeff, that was great. Thanks for your time. Hey, no problem. Mike. It's really great to see what goes on behind the scenes. I'm just really excited that you guys had an opportunity to come down here. I know I love doing the TV show, but I love the radio too. Absolutely. And I have to talk. Okay. So it's time for you to get. All right. All right. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Mix 107.5, the best songs from the 80s and more. It's Jeff Thomas on your no-repeat workday. And we are the station giving away Def Leppard concert tickets. Absolutely. And I've been fielding phone calls. People calling and saying, hey, Jeff, I want to win those tickets. I played Def Leppard Love Bites just a few minutes ago. But Bill and Carrie told you a different song to be listening for. That is the song you want to be listening for to win your Def Leppard concert tickets and sound check passes. Coming up before Stacy Lynn leaves this afternoon from your friends here at Mix 1075, the best songs from the 80s and more.